Hello folks, welcome to the Coyote episode. Uh, we're going to be featuring, I think, 12 different kills on this episode. If you guys asked for it, here it is. I hope you guys really like it. And I'm also asking before you watch this video, if you could, go over to my YouTube page, Justin Piscajon Outdoors, and subscribe to that as well. That way you're going to be in the know when all the new videos come out. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, the first couple hunts on here are going to be some hunts that were way back in the day. I couldn't even actually find the, the footage on my external hard drive. So they're going to be kind of crappy quality. One's my brother shooting a coyote with tracer bullets. And the second one is one where I, uh, I'm bow hunting deer and, and I have a coyote come in. And, and at 50 yards, I was able to, to put an arrow through him. And then after that, we'll go into hunts with a buddy of mine, Trent. He kills three different coyotes. And then it'll be Sean. He kills three different coyotes in one sit. And then three different hunts from my good buddy, Steve Harris. And the very last hunt on this episode is the only hunt that I've actually captured myself killing a coyote. And that's going to kind of cap things off. But the last couple hunts on this, this episode also feature some moonlight hunting. No artificial light, no spotlights, no night vision, no nothing. Um, they just recently changed that, allowing you to use some artificial light during North Dakota uh, predator firearm season, but this was a few years ago, wasn't legal, so we were out hunting with just moonlight, so the footage is pretty dark, but you can see the little black blobs running around, and I think it's kind of cool, something different, so here it is, Justin Piscajon Outdoors, Coyote Episode. Well, it's my first day chasing critters out in North Dakota. Luckily, I got a friend, Justin, who was uh, willing to take me out and show me uh, where actually he drew a deer tag. So we're doing a combo deal, scouting for his deer and trying to find some coyotes. So see if we can't get a coyote to come in close or have a coyote that comes in far with a long range scope. Hopefully we can make it happen either way. So let's check it out. Hopefully it'll be a great day.
Justin turned on the call and wasn't 20 or 30 seconds later before this coyote came from uh, the back side of the draw right down through the bottom came up through the middle we tried stopping him he didn't quite stop so just let him come right into our laps he was 60 yards away not much of a challenge for a long range rifle scope but hs precision 65 creedmoor with 120 grain gmx's and he didn't move he so, didn't twitch great morning I got to come out today with a couple of friends, Justin and Steve, made a few sets for coyotes. Um, Justin let me borrow his uh, 6.5 Creedmoor Atika, just got a new uh, suppressor on it, so uh, we got it out. Uh, had to take a couple of shots just to make sure where it hit on the first coyote, and it was hitting a little bit high, or maybe that was me. But uh, anyway, made a couple of more sets, got into this spot. Uh, we were getting ready to leave because we hadn't seen anything but a great big wide open expanse here. A couple of ponds, cows off in the distance, we've seen deer, we've seen antelope, all kinds of stuff going on here, but no coyotes. And so we're getting ready to pack up and leave and all of a sudden Justin spots his coyote on the other side of a pond, um, hits the call again and here she comes uh, on a string. She got down here to, oh, about 200, I think it was 218, stopped, gave it uh, just a second and uh, this 6.5 Creedmoor with the new uh, new suppressor did a perfect job. So it was a great day. We've had a load of fun, seen all kinds of critters, lucky enough to come out with some pals, chase some coyotes, see some deer. It's a great deal. So thank you, boys. Appreciate it.
came out this morning and first sit we called in a couple mule deer does that's about it and second sit we no more than sat down Justin said there's one right there running down through the coulee well instead of running away from us he ran towards us and uh, got a shot at him at about 170 yards must have hit high or something he fell and got up and took off running but uh, sat a little longer and another one came in from about 7,800 yards and shot him at about 174 and dropped him and we sat for a little longer and this little guy came in and right around 550 uh, he wasn't going to come any closer he was kind of actually going away from us and took a shot at 550 and I couldn't tell if he went down or not Justin said man he just did a weird spin and he had to went down let's walk down there so we walked down here and sure enough Justin walks up on a dead little coyote it's pretty awesome Gonna go break in the Fox Pro. Seen two coyotes right up here. Go try her out, see if we can kill something. Heck yeah, let's do her. Good size coyote. Oh yeah. Good looking dog. Dang nice one. Nice shot, Steven. Yeah, he is. Not a bad looking yote. Not too bad. First coyote of 2018. <laughs> Heck yeah, buddy. Nice January shot. January 4th. Something like that. Close enough. Yeah. Anyway, first coyote of the year. Let's go kill some more, huh? Yeah, let's go get some off this river here. They're everywhere.
he is, folks. Not too bad of a dog, actually. Pretty good sized coyote, good fur. But it's January 4th. It's about two in the morning right now. Doing some moonlight hunting down here in North Dakota with just the moonlight. And this hunt was freaking nuts. We had at least six coyotes within 100 yards, probably more. And I was trying to do my best to film it for you guys, but I just couldn't couldn't do it and I couldn't let them all get away. So I left the camera where it was, got on the gun and crushed this one. So awesome. Let's go try to call in some more. That was fun.